Mensuration Perimeter and Area of Polygons Introduction of Different Figures and Their Perimeter and Area Finding Area and Perimeter Property of Rhombus Regular Polygons In Radius Circum Radius Perimeter and Area of Regular Polygons Dear students, let us learn a new lesson that is mensuration. Suppose Mr. Shaker want to fence his garden. Which measurement he needs to purchase the barbed wire of required length? Perimeter. Right, that is perimeter. Perimeter is the total length of boundary which gives required length of barbed wire to Mr. Shaker. We know perimeter is total length of sides or boundary of a shape and its area is the reason covered by sides. Now students, let us learn about perimeter and area of other closed figures. Triangle The perimeter of triangle is a sum of total three sides. The area of any triangle is equal to half of the product of its base and height corresponding to that base. We can calculate area if half perimeter is given. S is half perimeter and A, B and C are length of sides of a triangle. Equilateral triangle Perimeter of equilateral triangle is three times of the length of its side. Area of equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 into square of the length of its side. Square The perimeter of square is 4 times of its side. Area of square is square of its side. If diagonal is given, area will be square of diagonal by 2. In this way, we can find the perimeter and area of rectangle. Parallelogram Trapezium Rhombus Circle Semicircle, etc. When triangle lie between two parallel lines with common base or congruent base, their areas are equal. Mr. Sham got a piece of land from his father. Now he is worried about how to measure its area. Let us solve his problem. On document, some measurements are given in meter. Let us solve his problem with this given figure. First name all the corners of land. Divide this piece of land into two parts by joining F and C. Now students, draw perpendicular lines from FC on each corner. We get some triangles and quadrilaterals. Let us find area of each part separately. The area of triangle FQE is 1 by 2 into base into height. Base FQ is 30 plus 50 is equal to 80 and height EQ is 60. Hence, the area of triangle FQE is 2400 square meter. Quadrilateral EQRD is a trapezium. We know that the area of trapezium is half of the sum of lengths of parallel sides into its height. EQ and DR are parallel sides and QR is height of trapezium EQRD. Hence area of trapezium EQRD is 3500 square meter. In triangle DRC, base is RC and height is DR. RC is 10 plus 30 is equal to 40 and DR is also 40. Hence, the area of triangle DRC is 1 by 2 into 40 into 40 that is, is equal to 800. Similarly, we can find area of triangle CSB and triangle FPA. 
both have same area. Now quadrilateral PABS is a rectangle. Its length is PS and breadth is PA. The total length of PS is 50 plus 70 plus 10 that is is equal to 130 and length of PA is 50. Therefore, area of rectangle PABS is equal to 130 into 50 and hence area of PABS is 6500. Now, we have areas of all parts of the piece of land. Add them, we get total area of piece of land. Area of triangle FQE plus area of trapezium EQRD plus area of triangle DRC plus area of triangle FPA plus area of rectangle PABC plus area of triangle CSB is equal to 14,700 square meter which is the actual area of piece of land. Hey look! Mr. Sham is happy and giving thanks to us. Diagonal of a rhombus a perpendicular bisector of each other. The perimeter of rhombus PQRS is 20 cm and diagonal QS has length 8 cm. Let us find out the length of other diagonal and also area of rhombus. We know that rhombus has all its sides equal. Hence, perimeter of rhombus will be 4 into its side. Therefore, 4 into 20 is equal to 80 as perimeter of rhombus. We have given that the length of diagonal QS is 8 cm. The diagonals of rhombus bisect each other in right angle. Therefore, MS or MQ will be the half of QS. Hence, MS is equal to MQ is equal to 4 cm. Now, to find out the length of other diagonal PR, consider right triangle PMQ. By Pythagoras theorem, PQ square is equal to PM square plus QM square. PQ is 5 and QM is 4. Therefore, we get PM is equal to 3. PM is half of diagonal PR and hence PR is 6 cm. In this way, we got the length of other diagonal. Now, area of rhombus is half into product of its diagonals. The length of QS is 8 cm and the length of PR is 6 cm and hence area of rhombus PQRS is 24 square cm. The radius of the wheel of a motorcycle is 35 cm. Find the number of rotation of wheel to cover the distance of 2.2 km. Hey students, did you notice that radius of will is given in centimeter while distance is given in kilometer? Let us convert distance from kilometer to centimeter. For that, convert 2.2 kilometer to meter. It is 2200 meter. Now convert 2200 meter to centimeter. It is 2,20,000 cm. Now, the radius of will is 35 cm. We know that circumference C is equal to 2 pi r and hence circumference of will is 2 into 22 by 7 into 35. Hence, circumference of will is 220 cm. Let us mark point here and make one rotation. This distance is covered into one rotation and one rotation means circumference of will. Now tell me how many such rotation of will require to cover the distance of 2.2 km? The answer is distance covered divided by circumference of will. Therefore, 
number of rotation of wheel is equal to 2 lakhs 20,000 divided by 220. Thus, number of rotation of wheel required to cover distance is 1,000. Dear students, we see different types of figure around us. Let us study them. Polygon A simple closed figure formed by line segment is called a simple polygon. Regular polygon Observe this hexagon. All sides and all angles of it are congruent. Such equilateral an equiangular figure is called as regular polygon. An important property of regular polygon is that it fits exactly into the circle. We can draw a circle through any regular polygon. The circle passing through the vertices of the polygon is called as the circumscribed circle of polygon. And if circle drawn touching each side of polygon is called as Inscribe circle of polygon. Both inscribe and circumscribe circles have the same center. This center is called as the central point of polygon. In radius, the length of the perpendicular from the central point of a regular polygon to any of its side is called as in radius of that polygon. It is denoted by small r. Circumradius. The line segment Joining central point of a polygon to any vertex is called as the circumradius of polygon. It is denoted by capital R. Regular polygons are of different number of sides. On the basis of its sides, we can calculate area and perimeter of that regular polygon. Suppose a regular polygon has n number of sides. The length of side is A. Small r is its in radius and capital R is its circumradius. Therefore, the area of n-sided regular polygon is 1 by 2 into n into A into R. And perimeter of n-sided regular polygon is n into A. From the equation 1 and 2, again we can say that Area of n-sided regular polygon is equal to 1 by 2 into perimeter into in radius and hence, in terms of area, perimeter of n-sided regular polygon is 2a by r. The area of the regular polygon in terms of circumradius is 1 by 2 into perimeter into under root square of circumradius minus square of side by 4. Now students, let us find the area and perimeter of regular hexagon of side 4 cm and in radius 5 cm. A hexagon has 6 sides, therefore n is equal to 6. Each side is of length 4 cm, therefore e is equal to 4 cm. It has in radius 5 cm. Hence, perimeter of hexagon is P is equal to N into A, that is 6 into 4 is equal to 24. Now, area of hexagon in terms of perimeter is E is equal to 1 by 2 into P into R. Therefore, area of hexagon is equal to 1 by 2 into 24 into 5 and hence area of hexagon is equal to 60 square centimeter in particular cases the area of regular hexagon is 3 root 3 by 2 into side square the area of regular octagon is 2 into 1 plus root 2 into side square In this lesson, we have learnt different figures and their perimeter and area. How to find area of different shapes? Property of rhombus Regular polygons In radius 
circumradius, perimeter and area of regular polygons. So dear students, that is all in this lesson. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Math is fun, so keep learning.